Uh, so it remains to be seen if he is a sleeper dark horse player or a bum. We will find out. All right, so we have Scarlet, a very uh, zoning heavy character. Good neutral control. Probably has the character most people have the most matchup experience against, thanks to the beta and the stress test. Has been said to have the strings that would be the best for flawless block practice. Uh, it seems that most Scarlet players seem to have gravitated towards her variation that includes a parry for just such an approach. The hot blooded Johnny Cage. Fever burning inside of me. The only cure is killing you. Round one. First round commences. They are off on a start. Yep, so we got the time. We got Heart Pierce. Heart Pierce, excuse me. So this Kate. is a matchup that Brent is familiar with because I use Scarlet and fight him quite often. I would think this would be a decent matchup for Johnny. He has very deceptively fast projectiles. But the one advantage I would say that Black Cloud may have in this is that Scarlet, being a female, will be able to duck under a lot of Cage's offense. Something that I'm sure uh, Brett is prepared for. Is aware, and that is definitely an advantage that he will have. That a male character, aside from maybe Aaron. Yeah. That's what Aaron Black is on Cage. But other than that, he's familiar with the female cast. Right. He did not have it. Tried to forward dash during his clip by the projectiles. Not a, game. not a bad showing from both players thus far. Alright, 4 3 4 into the down back three. A very good restand, especially in the corner. Now, Brent does know this matchup, so if he commits to that forward 4 3 a couple times, he'll get that false block. Yep, Speed Force coming off all of his defensive meter. If he gets opened up again, he's going to have to hold all that. There appears to be some right. stuttering right now. I'm not sure uh, where each player is located. All right, nice shadow kick. It looks like Scarlet's winning this zoning game. Ooh, a whiff. Ooh, Ooh there's the false block. False block into the breakaway. Mm, unblockable. Uh-oh. You have to hold all this. The meter. Ooh, Ooh, I like that. Just, variation he was using. Okay, I don't even use this variation, so this might be a swap. <laughs> What's up, Aztec? I I use this variation typically against people who uh, have like really good projectiles, like Cage. But I think I'd be using the other variation for him because while he has good projectiles, they're not really like the crux of his Ooh. gameplay. He rolls on the wake up and gets a punish, but then Black Air escapes. Alright, down four checks. Okay. A little bit more stuttering. Boom. Okay. Alright, we got the fist buff. Can't afford to get open up now. Oh, and no meter to break away. He's got to hold all the offense. Oh, and there's a false block again. You gotta watch that forward 4 3. He's used to it. And Brent takes the first game, game 1 0. I keep saying that, man. Speed Force. <laughs> Sorry, I know him on a personal person basis, so I'm trying not to I'm not trying not to, to throw him out there like that. This man actually autographs the camera for his outro. I'm done. <laughs> Must be a different outro. I think he's got him all on lock now, fuck. I am done. <laughs> Match with Top Eight Losers. Hey, good stuff, Aztec. All right, so Anbu so far with a good showing. They both got predicate against uh, matchups they're both familiar with. I just love the way NRS really takes the time to commit to the characters and how they act, portraying themselves. I know, right? I appreciate that with Johnny Cage specifically. Saiyan saying Speed Force is going to take this free. The vote of confidence from Ambu, who is rolling deep in the chat right now. 
the lag is real. I see it. We get an instant NJP. Ooh, nice Ooh. duck and punish. So I like that. He knew the he knew the down two was coming. But he opted to block it instead of duck. Johnny has projectiles too. Yeah, if I were black card, I'd be using a lot more of the uh, blood ball. It's a very, uh, very black strong. Really good for people to try to jump over it. Ooh, the air escape. Ooh, the down two crushing blow. No defense meter. Don't got to hold Whoa. all this. Crispy Whoa, that's, 388 that's... damage. I was going to say 40. That was the key. Ooh, he make the comeback. Oh, I thought he was going to get the jump in, but he got him with the 2-1. Yeah, Scarlet's 2 1 string covers a lot of space. Something I'm not seeing him use very much is the forward 2. The forward 2 into the tongue is a great neutral tool. Absolutely. 4 2 tongue, floor 2 bud ball. I use standing 3 a lot myself. Say that I do. I use a lot of forward 2, though. But however, the forward 2 on whip is extravagantly unsafe. There's oh, yeah. enough time for them to walk forward and punish. Yeah, right now it's like Speed Force trying to go for a trip guard. Very, very strong round for Speed Force thus far. But he did not punish the 2-1-2 two two string. He's really going for a counter to cancel. Yep. Ooh, 4-4-3 oh, four, four, into the parry. Cool. He flawless blocked it, but got parried. That was very enlightening for Blackout. Okay, he's looking at a comeback. See, now he's got the fear of God and with those parries. And that's the reason why people like to run this variation, because once they realize that you're going to just flawless block and up two or up three of them, they'll just cancel into a parry and get a little bit of their health back. All right, first sign of the 4-2 Blood Tongue. Oh, I like that. He's trying to sneak in the short hop there. Oh, speed combo, force. he's got an air escape, and he does. That back three he's using into the uh, the elbow. What are you talking about? You talking about you talking about speed force? Yeah. Not that gun. All right, back four. Went for the burst. A little out of range. Weird decision trying to make there. Maybe trying to see if speed force is going to whiff something coming in. You guys have a very uh, shaky connection. I'm not sure who's responsible. It could just be distance, too, honestly. I'm not sure where Speed Force lives, or Black Cloud, for that matter. Speed Force is in Kansas. I don't know where Black Cloud is. Hmm. Distance doesn't have much to do with it. I can find somebody in California when I live in West Virginia with perfect connection. It depends on what they pay for. Yeah. So Black it's Cloud. Like Black Cloud's take that 1-1. One, one. Yep, 2-1-2 two, two, into the Fatal Blow. Good stuff from Black Cloud. Tying it up at one game apiece. Lag has got to be uh, annoying on both parties. Yeah. I think it's because of the stage. Uh, I've played on car on ship a few times. I never really noticed any lag there. But who knows? Who knows? Do they have the option to pick the stage in this? If they do, maybe they should just pick a training stage. They can do whatever they want with stages, honestly. Doesn't bother me anyway. They want to pick their own stage. Go for it. Scarlet. Johnny Cage. Special Forces Desert Command. The <laughs> cage looking as conceited as ever. Well. Page. Round one. Fight. All right, so we're at 1-1, one, 2-1-2, one, two, one, two, into the down two. I'm not sure if he's trying to sniff out the breakaway or uh, or what. Interesting combo ender there. Excellent whiff punish into the down back three. He went for the pause block. I guess he risked the parry. You know, kill, uh, Speed Force has flawless blocked that string enough times. So I'd probably just start doing forward four into Blood Tongue to throw him off. Hey, he does this so much to me that I'll just do the forward four and then stop and grab him. That too. Alright, nice shadow kick reversal. 
already. Could have got a shatter kick in there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Got caught trying to whiff punish and hit by the active frames. Oh, and the cancel of the fatal blow. It still has the fatal blow, unfortunately. Oh. We could have took it. Oh, oh not sure what Speed Force is going for there. He kind of just let himself get hit. Yeah. Round two. Fight. Alright, there's the blood ball on the blood tongue. Gets caught walking sure. backwards. You've got to find your block button, sir. Ooh, with the whip punish. Best thing about that string is that it's forward advancing, so it's off guard with, uh, Miss, um, Yep, Johnny is a very good whiff punish character because a lot of his strings move him forward. And people underestimate his range because of that forward advancing move. And I like him a lot to uh, MKX Cole. Very similar game plan. Throwkey, thank you for the host, man. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the Combat Coliseum. The very first one for MK11. Johnny has a lot of uh, gap strings, though. It's 2 4 4, up 4. Mm -hmm. uh, flawless block, forward four one four can be flawless block, forward four three can be flawless block. Damn, this uh this one may be it. That's death. Yeah, that's death. That's damn near a flawless. And he Brent or Speed Force will take it two one. My man's got blown up when he got put in that corner. Johnny Cage pressure not to be underestimated, even if you are playing a female character. And Black Cloud may have gotten uh, cooked a little bit that one. Scarlet Johnny Cage. So let's get a, a census poll in the chat right now. Which team do you guys think is going to take the Combat Coliseum tonight? Will it be Team Anbu? Or will Iconic find a way to come back and mop? Let's see some votes in the chat. Round one, fight. Alright, starting off with a standing two. Trying to do... Oh, the whiff punish. Good stuff. Speed Force over committing to his string when he is outside of range. Johnny may Watch cover a lot of range, but you gotta be careful. You can't take it for granted. Watch that tongue. That tongue's always there. Damn, my man's getting uh getting zoned right now. It is heavily. Ooh. I'm not sure why he we can go for down two so much. There's no way yeah, that Speed Force is. Chose to spend the bar to get out, even though being ahead so much. He chose to spend the two bars of defensive leader. Uh oh. This is how it starts. Two after the two one two more than once. I'm not sure why he's doing that. It could be a lot more. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, there was no way that Speed Force was gonna burn his defense meter at that point to break away. So he should have gone for the full combo. And we are walking the yellow brick road. Gonna put Speed Force in the corner. Speed Force. Unsafely, but gets it. Next to block. Ooh. Speed Force getting caught whiffing. There's the optimal. Oh. We have to suspend this man's neutral license there, Son Goku. <laughs> wow. It's caught hitting the buttons and he tries to defense out, but it's 2 2 very convincingly on Black Cloud's side. Yeah. The crowd mostly well, voting for Ambu in that poll, but uh, Black Cloud may have seen that chat, got a little salty, and came in to cook. That was a very decisive game. I love they brought Scarlet back. Nice is nice is, by the way. He should go to Baraka or Sub. He could play Sub Zero. He plays him very well. Going to uh, the old Dead of Winter 
Oh, the walking mix machine. I didn't even know Speed played Brockett. Does Speed play Brockett? Uh, if he does, he didn't play him against me. He only played Cage and Sub. Hey, he never played him against me either. I've only ever seen Scorpion, Sub, and Donnie. I don't know if I would comfortably pick Baraka against a character that zones really hard. That's one of his uh, shortcomings. Alright, 2-1-2. Two two. Goes for the breakaway. Alright, good pick up. Nice grab mix. I like that. The down four into the blood tongue. That is classic Scarlet from the beta. Wow, just straight down too. Said the hell of it. Ooh, the flawless blocks from Speed Force right now. Machine kicks. Burning up all of his meter. And nice down three check. Knew the parry was coming. And blew it up with the low hit. What's up, Damager? You know, so far, Speed Force has not gotten hit by a single short hop attack. He read the grab. Oh, but he air escapes out. Yeah, blew up. Very smart to do because down two crushing blows lead to gangbuster damage for a lot of characters in this game. Now with Noob Saiba, I'm taking half your health. Alright, getting zoned out. Gotta be careful, can't overcommit to anything. Johnny Cage, of course, can walk forward and whiff punish a lot of things Scarlet can do. Nice. Good conversion off the stray hit. And Speed Force now going up 3-2 in this first to 10. Going tit for tat. Once again, signing the camera. With all the flair that Johnny Cage could muster. So, if you're just now joining us, welcome to the Combat Coliseum, a show specifically tailored to showcase the various teams in the NRS scene. This is our first ever episode for MK11, featuring the two teams that closed the show for MKX. Very apropos. Uh, you don't have to define that one, Ragnarok. Very fitting for the situation. Dig it. I'm going to have to add that to my vernacular. Need to join the team? A lot of teams are looking right now. This is a fresh game. Talon is always trying to uh, show themselves. Plus, provide a steady list of possible training partners. Right. Ooh, I like that. Four tech will try to whiff punish, but Black Cloud not committing. Ooh. Gets the whiff punish. Just watches the punches. Go for the down two again after the 2-1-2, two two, but gets the grab. He must be just be trying to read the breakaways. I think that's what he's trying to do as well. Honestly, though, I would, I would let him do it, though. I mean, I'd rather have Johnny break away and lose all his defensive meter than just down two and have him keep it. Ooh. Oh, we're, we're getting fancy. He keeps the beta blow. I, I find it odd that as much as people complained about Tremor's flash parry in MKX, they gave Johnny Cage a flash parry in MK11. Does it absorb a hit like the flash parry did? He will if he delays it enough. It takes a few frames for the armor to come out, but it's definitely flash parryable. Cool. Okay, and he takes the first game. I'm surprised they let him keep the fatal blow after using it to cancel on hit. Yeah. Ooh, nice down two, gets the counter, but does not hold it. But gets the flawless block, he does not counter. Right, both players blowing some meter there for that exchange, but Sweet Force coming out the better of it. Now gets access to the fist debuffs. Nice to see that mechanic return. Alright, 4 3, stagger on hit into the throw. Nice throw break. Ooh, punish. He fully commits to the string. Does not go fully optimal, though. Yeah, I like that he went for the back three, then. Probably recognize people were going to try to duck the grab. Ooh, a nice neutral jump. But he drops the combo. Ooh, 
Almost, just about. Ooh, and takes it. 4 2. Yep, a nice three. back dash there, recognizing the tech and throwing the force balls right in his face. Speed Force now in a comfortable 4 2 lead over Black Cloud. Denied again. Comeback denied. Black Cloud showing some good reads, but his combo choices are curious. I, I have the same feeling. I'm really curious about the, the down two because even if Speed Force decided to, to break away, it's not like he would be unsafe if he went for the, another 2-1-2. Two, two. He'd still be safe even after the 2-1-2 the two, two whip on the last hit. I think if you whip the second 2-1-2, two, two, I'm pretty sure he can punish that. But if you just do 2-1... Yeah, then you'd be fine, which yeah. you could do. And it's easy, that. like I say, it's easy to recognize when they break away too. It's not like you have to really commit to that. Exactly. So. Round one. Fight. All right, gonna start off with the zoning. Gonna stick with full screen. Tongue, you gotta watch that tongue watching walking forward because she can absolutely do it after any of her projectiles. And I would almost say, given how this matchup's gone so far, that he may consider switching to the other variation that gets access to the Blood Siphon and the Altered Force Balls. Maybe, that, maybe that's this one, I don't know. No, 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 the Blood Siphon and the Enhanced Force Balls is most definitely the other one. Okay. If you ever see the Blood Siphon, then she does not have a teleport or the counter. See, I would probably switch to that variation, because the, the slow and fast Blood Ball is a very strong tool in the neutral. So is the blood siphon. If you if you hit the blood siphon, you get a safe forward four. Period. Yeah. They can't if you time it right, they can't do anything. It's you're guaranteed a forward four. Forward four into a grab. Forward forward into uh, something. You can forward. You can just do whatever. Yeah. And of course, blood siphon. You get the plus four and plus seven restands. To get health for the game. And health bag. Anna has a wide range of attack, but right now. It's like Black Cloud may have found his pacing, keeping Speed Force at full screen. Has to be careful of the Shadow Kick, though. Could come at any moment. Oh, See, like right, right there. Like yep, yep. Exactly what we were just talking about. Black Cloud looks like he has figured it out. He's got a full screen to work with. Go for the flawless block this time. Maybe he's like going to counter, but gets the down to him. Ugh. Speed Force, Four. I don't know what he was doing. Like, just got caught pushing buttons on Wake Up, but Black Cloud trying to tie things up, but still down a game. Interesting how he, uh... It's like Black Cloud, like, figures out Speed Force for a game, and then Speed Force changes his approach and completely dominates the next one. And they kind of go back and forth like that. Black Cloud's zoning was very much on point that last game. Mm-hmm. He really found a rhythm there with when the... the, the the blood ball, the, the fast blood spit. I don't even know what, you, I don't even know what it's called. Whatever it is. Using the tongue to his advantage. But I, I don't see him using enough. And it's still good because she's safe to do the tongue after all three of her projectiles. Absolutely. I can almost see Speed Force going to Sub-Zero this matchup because the threat of the amplified ice ball would neutralize Scarlet from recklessly throwing anything out in the neutral. 100%. Every time he picks Sub Zero against my Scarlet, he just. It's like a complete counter. Yeah. I mean, Sub Zero and Dead of Winter does have access to a six frame mid projectile that stops other projectiles and leads to a full combo on hit. It's a very scary thing to deal with. That forward, too. I like to see that. 2 1 2 again. Goes off the one. He's going to teleport or get the time. Nope, teleport. Ooh, Ooh, and caught the read on the grab. Out. And Black Cloud has. Smart not committing. Yeah, Black Cloud has gone for that teleport mix up three other times in this set so far. So Beat Force trying to check him. You're not just going to keep running the same trick on me, sir. Ooh, that was almost a crush. That, what he just did, the back two, back one two, is a crushing blow on counter. Yeah, I think that was the first time he's used back one two in this set so far, too. So it's the first time I've seen it. Honestly, I like that move, but I think the, the crushing blow needs to do more damage because it only does like 19%. And I actually haven't seen him use back two at all, and I know it gets me because I use it. Yeah. You get it twice, you get it two times in a row, you get a crushing blow. 
it may be one of those things he could be saving for later on in the set when he needs to pull it out in the clutch. Potentially, because it is very punishable. Yeah. He hasn't done very many back fours either, and her back four covers a lot of range. Wild zoning scarlet. Hey man, Johnny oh, Cage's Johnny Cage's projectiles are very fast, like deceptively fast. They got low. We were talking about there. He goes using again. See, it catches the feet. Got to watch his feet. Yep. So the court reacted. Ooh, Ooh, that was smart. Very smart. And he's gonna take that game. It doesn't look like any of the players are hitting buttons to try to receive less damage or give more damage. This man did forward four three, knowing speed force is gonna fall his block into an up two and canceled into the fatal blow to blow Great. up the counter. That is next level. I like Smart. it. So that by the snap of his fingers, Black Clouds ties the game up at four each. Four is gonna go to sub zero scorpion. Guess we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea. He's got six games to work with, potentially. Well, he's gonna... i never seen anybody use the other variation for Johnny. The one with the mime parry or whatnot. Or does this one have the parry? I forget. Uh, I don't know either. I've seen him use that parry on me though, so maybe maybe I have seen him use the other variation. You know what? I don't know. It could be on this variation. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming they made this when they made this game. They were like, Scorpion is fine, definitely balanced. You know, I kind of go back and forth on Scorpion, honestly. Same. I mean, he's a top tier character, but he's not an overly oppressive one. He's just kind of the teleport's just dumb. It's like Injustice One. The teleport is dumb, but everything else is like whatever. I was really dumb in Injustice because in that game you don't have a designated block button, so you gotta switch your block side. Yeah. The other one has the camera. Okay, that's right. It has the camera and the sunglasses, if I remember right. Alright, so it looks like Black Cloud may have figured this matchup out, and then, as I said, he gets kicked in the face and stands into a force ball. It's punished. He does not advance it or enhance it. Oh, he's gonna enhance this, and he does. Oh, but he drops it. Oh! He throws him back in the form. He does not just go for the kill. He's, she is going to be alive. Tech roll into the down one. Got to be careful. Oh, the oh, parry. Sorry. Smart stuff. It's down the wire. It's either player's game. Forward, back one, two. Duck stands up into the force ball again. Watch that enhancement. Oh, you hate to see it happen. Round two. You hate to see the most happen with enhancement is whenever you block the scorpion's teleport, then they enhance it and you let go block. It's the worst. <laughs> it's like they made, this game's almost like a hybrid of MK and Injustice based on the amplified. I kind of like it, but sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't like it as much. Depends yeah, on the move. It's definitely different. Yeah, it's definitely different than MKX for sure. I do miss my bay, you know, Devora being uh, good. Devora's in the game. She's just not Devora. I'll leave that one to another. Oh, uh, once again, down two crushing blow, gonna break away. Yep, this time recognizing it and opting just to back up a little bit. Full whiff punish two times in a row. Say it ain't so. Oh, he drops it though, but that is plus, I believe. All right, the rare sighting of the standing three. Good throw break. Teleport. Two, one, two. One, two, four, excuse me. That can also be flawless block the four can. Ooh, wow. Short hop catches Black Cloud whiffing buttons and Speed Force advancing 5 4. This is a neck and neck situation. Yeah, I mean, for a matchup that would supposedly be tilted against Johnny Cage, Speed Force is definitely making it work. I do that with one hand, so I keep giving a nine. <laughs> Johnny Cage, Scarlet. As impartial as the guy to be, I almost want to see Black Cloud Drawing take this just to tie the setup. A longer. 
But this is elimination style, so it could come down to one player sweeping the other team on either side. It could. They could come down to if Speed Force does win, Tigers could come back and beat all three. You never know. You never know. Alright, Starling's off with the force balls. Nice use of the down back three to try to low profile underneath them and gets caught. That move has a lot of recovery on whiff. Which is good for speed Oh, wake up 212. And just throw it out the fatal blow. I don't know about that one, Chief. Yeah, I don't know about that one either. It's early, Speed Force has a lot of health and he just wasted it. He will not get that back. That's a Pepper hitting buttons for it so it did less damage than it normally would. I did not see Black Cloud testing that. Alright, knock punch. Down one check. Oh, got caught whiffing right. the down one, get duffed right back into the corner. He not... does not have to worry about the, uh, the fatal blow. Yeah, if I were him, I'd just start going ham now. Armor, of course, uh, a rarity in this game compared to MKX. And adjusts too, for that matter. All right, once again, throws her back in the corner. We're gonna have to try to fight his way out the old-fashioned way. Wake up two one two because why the hell not? Very solid two ninety four. Not teleport this time. Oh, straight to the face. Did not neutral duck it. Another boy bringing out the flawless block trying to bait it. Go. Oh, nice challenge Good. using the 4 2 to cover the back dash and a late jumping Eight. one. Black Cloud, one game each. Final round. Fight. Oh, but gets the NJP but does not commit. This is a, a running theme of tonight's show. Players are landing hits but not committing to the strings. Alright, nice use of the back. They could have did the forward four screen to the enhanced back forward three to continue the combo that shows the, the, the low projectile. It gets it to them too. Okay, it drops the blood tongue. Dude, we're trying to fight his way back in. Try to go for a whiff punish there, but Scarlet's, you know, as much recovery as she may have, her attacks cover a wide range of the screen. So she can be difficult at times to try to whiff punish. Play okay, air escapes. Right. That was standing three into a throw. Ooh. Oh, once again. Oh, Black Cloud. You know he's looking for that bait. Oh, um, Black Cloud once again baiting the flawless block attempt into the parry. And that's important because if you land that enough times, you're not going to flawless block the next attempt, and that's when they're going to go for some... Okie doke. I like what we're seeing thus far. Both players adapting to the other's play style. Yeah, five five, literally tip for tap. Yeah. Very good set so far. This is also where, uh, where uh, what's his name? Who was the last person that just played? On the sub zero, dead of winter. Yeah. Now, this is essentially where the last set kind of tilted into Ambu's favor. They were both uh, tit for tat, four for four, and then Ambu kind of ran away with it. So we'll see if uh, Black Cloud can keep that from happening. But right now, he is going up against the Dead of Winter variation. This is, in my opinion, seems to be a counter for Scarlet. But we'll see. We'll see how this is played. It's all about who's holding the controller. Yeah. Because I am so stunning. Because you are going to die. Damn, Sub Zero, a cold motherfucker when it comes to his intros. That's down four check, backing up a little bit. Oh, just just goes for the ice ball, but Black Cloud doesn't want no part of that. All right, has to go for the forward four meaty. Black Cloud getting a little bit of his health back off of the blood spit. Flawless block it, but he did not commit to anything. And a good, good call because uh, Black Cloud did go for the parry. Absolutely. Now I know that Speed Force, when I even when I played, it might take advantage of the fact that you can amplify some specials on block because he'll go for the shoulder, 
make you wait till just think he'll he won't do anything else and he'll amplify it. Amplify, yeah, he does it to me as well. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I haven't seen Speed Force fall as far for one, two, four yet. That is true. He has not. He's only done a two, one, two, and four, four, or four, three, four, four, three. Excuse me. Yeah, four, four, three, yeah. All right, gonna get a little bit of his health back with that parry. See, he, he's got him afraid to follow his pocket now. Nice down one strike. Down one. But he has speed force, hesitant to try to follow his block that string, knowing the parry is a threat. Not only will he take damage, but he will give Black Cloud some of his health back, and a good chunk of health at that. And I believe it's after three amplified parries that he can crush and blow on the fourth one. Yep. Nice went for the parry. Blue Force hesitating. Timing his offense just after the parry's frames are over. That's Oh, but he dropped the combo. That could have been about 40% with the crushing blow off that string. Ooh, and catches him and freezes him. Okay. Gets the hard knockdown. All right, shimmy into the low. Good throw yeah. break. Two, three, yep. Okay, he opted not to go for the crushing blow. May want to keep it for the next round. And then down one into the throw. That is the NRS special. Yes, he puts him right back into the corner where he wants to be. Back one range. Yeah, overhead into the shoulder. That wouldn't have hit. If that wouldn't have uh, hit, that would have been one of those moments where he would have amplified late. Absolutely. All right, let's get down one throw. There you go. Didn't get the most optimal punch, but they want to keep Sweep for trying to break away. He does it again. Both bars of offensive meter spent, and now both bars of defensive meter spent. Being luxurious with his resources. Yeah, he's got he got one bar now to work with. Got to be careful. Can't afford to get opened up because he's got no defensive meter, but right now Black Cloud being a very conservative with his punishes. Black and, or block on the one, two, four. Is he gonna do? All right. Ooh, okay. So he gets the fatal blow. This is obviously not going to kill. They're both hitting buttons. So there's one shield. And all right. So stay at 40, 40, 40. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, just Ooh, wake up up two. Unsafe. Oh, we parry it now. Man, man, flexing a little bit. I like it. Man, well with that. and I the up two is six five. Black Cloud in the lead now. Like that was the first up two he's done this entire set, and the one time he does it is when it works. <laughs> I tell you, man, keeping those little things in your pocket just for the right moment. It's like Scarlet's back two. We have not seen her back two at all this set. Scarlet. And uh, Jin Jeremy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Combat Coliseum. Like Train has joined chat. Or I don't know if he was in there already or not, but I just not seen him. Who? And he's the uh he's one of the founders of Iconic. He was Ambu, uh Train and Gonzo. Yep, Train and was Pirates. uh Train was there earlier. What's up, Ian Aider? Round one. Fight. Welcome to the Combat Coliseum, sir. There's a whip punch. Putting enhanced ice ball, but he's plus. But he goes low. Alright, nice neutral jump. Fortunately, he did not get the whiff punish in time. Ah, see, there it is. It was, yeah. You go it to push a button and get blown up by the shoulder. What was that? He literally just tried to walk up and do ice ball point blank. Uh, like I don't yeah. know whose man. I don't know whose man <laughs> this is, but. <laughs> yeah, it's again, got him. See, it's cases like that and with Scorpion's teleport that I am anti amplify on block. I think it's kind of a silly mind game, but. That one check. I believe that entire string is only like minus one or two, so like a lot of sub zeros like the poke after the full string, the full low string. Uh, that one's minus five. 
Oh, I mean the full string? The full string is minus one, I think. If he just does the back three, two, I think that one's minus five. Relatively safe character, other than the overhead. Alright, nice use Blood Tongue. And try to keep speed force full screen. Oh, and just like that, the Amplified Ice Ball into the big boot. You can't really trade with that with a lot of characters. I think Shao Kahn's the only one I've seen that can trade with Amplified Ice Ball and still get some offense. Holy freezes, that's a flash. He gets out of two. He's only one more hit away from the combo being done. Alright. Well, I don't want to for and no flawless block on that string yet. But this it. could be it. He drops it. This is a grab. Oh, up two again. Saves this man into Ooh. the fatal blow. That's not going to kill. But it's going to... We got a shield and his broken skull. What's the broken skull? Uh, I don't think he's done... I saw two shields there. But that wouldn't have killed either way. Oh! Nice. Yelding. If that hadn't killed, that might have been death for him. It would have been. He would have did his uh, full and four or three or whatever the one that's plus. All right, so the full string is negative five. Okay. I thought the I thought the back three two was negative five too, but I could be wrong. Just... Two. All right. Ooh, we could have got a whiff punish there. All right, half of the ice ball. Full corner carry. Opposite to keep the bar and just wake up down too. Looking like all Black Cloud right now. Speed Force still has access to Fatal Blow, but he jumps into the blood. And Black Cloud up 7 5. Is he going to go back to Johnny, or will he switch to Scorpion? If I were him, I'd go back to Johnny, honestly. Seem to be doing a lot more even. It's just uh, a character he understands more. He's obviously spent more time with Johnny. Yeah. The Sub Zero pick, I think, would be good on paper. But I'm not sure how much he's played this matchup. Yeah. But now, Cloud sitting on a comfortable two-game lead. A mere first to three away from taking the set and tying things up between Iconic and Anbu. Shang Tsung's Island Ruth. Now you main sub, you think it's 5-5? Five, five? Huh. All right. It's admittedly a matchup you don't really see too often. Not really. You don't really see that many scars, really. No, she kind of fell off after the stress test. I mean, there's a splash. Um, yeah, forward two. That's what I've been wanting to see more of, because it's just it's such a good move for range control. Yeah. Kind of jump. Seize your way in. I like that he's changed the... Ooh, that good whiff on, a sh on the shadow kick. No, Cloud... Running away with it this round. I don't know why he's going in though. I'd be backing up. Escape immediately. Doesn't want no part of it. Okay, good oh, throw break. Yeah, like I would just be Definitely. backing up. You've got a whole screen to work with. There's no reason to go in right now. Uh oh. This is how it happens. This is how it starts. Oh, the down Ooh. two. Oh no! See what I say? Come back. You what did I say? Yeah, Th I that's agree. how it Shut starts. Up. Since he got cocky and moved forwards. Okay, he just checked. Back sub zero's back three two is negative six, and back three two one is negative five. All right. I have blocked, a... but he didn't go for anything but the grab. Goes low and gets it. Gets the combo. This is gonna hurt. The restand. And a cool K text it. Ooh. Oh my. That's twice now that his anti air is whiffed. Looks like he's trying to do it on wake up. Alright, up three covered, a lot of range. And that's the game. Okay. Speed Force making it come back quick with Johnny 6 7. If he had just stayed full screen in the last round, that may have had a different outcome. The man's had an 85% health lead and chose to go in when he had the whole screen to his back.
I'm mad baffled. But those are the breaks. We've all made Choices. questionable decisions sometimes in matches. We're still in here. Johnny yeah. Cage. You went two and two in Aquaman's mod tournament. Nice. That's merely a first I've ever seen somebody have a tournament and decide who's going to be a moderator. Pretty cool concept. It shows that you're knowledgeable about the game. Yeah. That's one of the main concepts they're looking for. I don't ever see used by Scarlet, is it? Huh? Two, or she just goes a whip? Standing three? Is it, is it the three? Yeah, standing three. She just whips you. It's a high attack, but it covers a lot of range. Never see used. I never use it myself. I usually use the it to forward two. It's much better. Eh, I mean forward two is really good. I usually use it to check uh, like mid-screen jump-ins, or if they're uh, whiffing something from long range. So it'll still combo into Blood Tongue and put him full screen. It's a decent tool. But it has more horizontal reach than anything else. Yeah, I have to learn to use that, utilize that much. Because I think the 4 2's got good. It's got farther range and it hits more in the air. Yeah. Force takes that first round. Alright, so Speed Force is like he may have the, the reverse download. Round two. It's uh, three very strong rounds from him. Force the breakaway, walk up, just down three, take a step back, look for the whiff. I haven't seen any of these players anti or anything. I know Johnny's down three, he's just as good as bosses when he comes to Yeah, I think, they're more, I think uh, Speed Force thus far, he's been going for more trip guards and direct anti airs. Alright, one, two, four. But Tongue, no flawless block. Delay the jump two into the nut punch. Back up. Oh, decides just to cheat and take his turn back. Double down threes. That in here. Oh, that oh, could have been an all bad. Alright. Goes for the grab. Oh, damn. The damn, that walk. is game. Right to the fatal blow after that confirmed. I'm glad he didn't try to go fancy and like cancel the fatal blow into something. He just said, fuck that, I'm ending this. <laughs> yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, boys, we are in first to three territory. Really, either player could take it at this point. It's literally been tick for tack the entire way. I think uh, Black Cloud has made the right adjustments, but he needs to uh, maybe not go in as much against Johnny Cage. Try to keep his range, keep his distance, zone a little more. Yeah, I mean, he has access to, like, a teleport that puts him full screen. Or at least near it. He just has to watch out for the shadow kick. Johnny Cage, Scarlet. All right, and the uh, the next round of players, let's see, that would be Get Wrecked and Titanium Tigers. But players we're all familiar with. Yeah. The young prodigies. That's a good way to define both of them, I think. Yeah. Tiger's pulling a 3,000 views on his stream and beating um, Meads 21 to 10. Yeah. De definitely been a grind in the Twitch game as Tiger's rewarded so by being invited to the E League, potentially uh, making a little extra money. And of course, Get Wrecked had very strong showings in the hometown heroes for Injustice 2. I was a very, very solid MKX player at that, so looking forward to seeing... It's Hellfire Scorpion. Yeah. So looking forward to seeing them clash, see who can come out on top. Right now, it's like Speed Force. Trying to put a, put uh, Black Cloud to bed. Got him boxed into the corner. Nowhere for him to go at this point. He's got no okay. defensive meter. He's got to hold all of this. Uh, 
optimal and not to restand. Oh man, just, just check. check him out. Trying to push buttons on hits, sir. We don't do that around here. Round Better hold this block button. This is one of my favorite stages, specifically because of all the arcade cabinets. Oh yeah, and the fact that they actually have game footage playing on the cabinets in the back too. Got of course MKX and Dis Deadly Alliance on the left, and I believe Shaolin Monks and Deception on the right. You're right, I, I mean I think so as well. I think Deception was my favorite game of the 3D era personally, but that is neither here nor there. I enjoyed Shaolin Monks thoroughly. Oh yeah, I mean Shaolin Monks is the goat. But Deception had noob smoke, and that's a that was a fun pair to play as. Wrong? Is that noob's or fatality in this game? Where is that himself? He's putting inside of you that's putting out, or is that a part of smoke? Is that part of smoke? Ah, uh, it's it's noob. I think they would have added more uh, vapor effects if that was supposed to be smoke inside of noob. I just heard people say that, but I, I never saw it confirmed. I mean, it, the they look very much like because he has like Smoke's old like MK9 outfit on, or the alternate version of it. But it looks just like Noob, Noob's a uh, Shadow Clone. But Speed Force now sitting comfortably on the 8-7. He is in a first to two run to put Black Cloud away. I'm not sure what Black Cloud could really be doing different at this point. He's just uh, he's being outplayed essentially. And a matchup that you would think would be heavily against Johnny Cage. I think what it is is there are a lot of Anbu players in chat right now, so he has the spirit of his team behind him. Oh, well, we got about 64 people. That's a lot. Yeah, my man is being spirit bombed right now by Team Anbu. They're all putting their hands together, sending him their energy. Blood spit. Whiffing the standing too. Ooh, one, two, four. The stray hits connect. Going right back into the zoning, but choosing to try to stay in the mid range. Not sure about that one. Alright, down one. Throw him into the corner. Shorin says, take my energy. I dig it. Right. Oh, there you go. There's the 4-2 Blood Tongue. We're That's playing We're playing Scarlet Footsies now. That's how you play it. Ooh, that I, was I, dirty. Gotta watch that tongue. It, it, I think he tried to neutral duck there, and that'll catch him every single time. Yeah, tongue actually hit him into the Blood Ball. Okay, I've done it a billion times. Because you can neutral duck all her projectiles, except for the low, obviously. Yeah, the low and the, uh, the Blood Tongue. Turns to mid. Alright, good stuff. Now go for the stagger. Oh, commits to the full strength. That's, that's, I think that's the first time he's committed to it this entire set. Yes. Oh, the stray hit. Ooh. One, two, four. Oh, the blood tongue. This is in Speed Force just narrowly missing the whiff punish. But now Speed Force has no meter to work with. Now sitting on one bar thanks to the slow regen system. So I like that Speed Force is now flawless blocking that string, but he's not committing to the up three or up two in fear of the parry. Hmm. Oh, he gets the hit con confirmation, but does not commit. And is that game? Oh. Yep. Yep. Gets love tapped by the low poke. Johnny Cage, of course, very animated in his mid screen or mid round taunts. All right, good shadow kick. Rolls through into the down one. Could have gotten a little bit more of a whiff punish there, but gets once again staggered with the same butt into the throw. That's at least four times. They want to start ducking preemptively, just going for like a down two or something. Dude, that's for the down two. You know, he might be doing the down two on a read for them breaking it because they're going to get more damage off the down two versus the two one. Absolutely. Potentially, that could be it. And if that is the, if that is the case, that's uh, that's smart. All right. Four for three, gonna see it. Once again, see there you back. go. Oh, no, that's a shame. Walked backwards, the perfect spacing for the two-one-two whiff punish, 
and Black Cloud bringing us to an 8-8. Neither player really wanting to uh, give up the lead right now. Good stuff. This is what you call a back and forth game. Yeah, very even. They may consider running sets against each other in the future. They seem to be good partners. Definitely learn a lot from each other that way. Whenever they're this close. Shuren saying if Speed Force wins this, he'll let him have the window seat on the way to Combo Breaker. And they're going to Combo Breaker together. So is uh, Shoren, Speed Force, Get Wrecked, Crazy Black Dude, Ali Lama are all going to Combo Breaker. Yeah, it sounds like it. There's like 700 people signing for that tournament. It's going to be crazy. I think Rex told me earlier it was 800, but still, either way, it's a lot of people for one game. Absolutely. Hope you guys have signed up. This is a good point for anybody going to Combo Breaker. I will be there as well, so if you see me, say hello. Here to the enemy members. Get Rex, Speed Force, Llama. Say hi. Nice Speed whip force punish with the 2-1-2. Two, right two. Good breakaway from Speed Force. Once again, flawless block. Oh, mm -hmm. right in the down two, and he has to hold all of this. 4-4, four, four, or 4-4. Four, four. And goes to the optimal combo. It doesn't go for the teleport. Yeah. And I like that Black Cloud didn't go for the teleport in. He wants to keep his distance. Oh. And... All right, get up three. Ooh, the, the attempted down one anti-air. I like that. Uh, no, I'm not commentating Combo Breaker. I did not submit a reel. I'm just going to play. All right, good whiff punish. Wow, just a straight down too. And the first yeah. sighting. Ah, oh, there, there it is. We have two first. The back one, two crushing blow, and the first back two, keeping it in his pocket to the very end. I like that. Hmm, gets the flawless block and commits to this time getting it. Yeah, Black Cloud hasn't gone for the pair. Oh, then he went for it, it there, was. but. Yeah. Got down two again. He's getting hit by a lot of these uh, advancing lows. Ooh, nice. Ooh, back in the face with the forward two. And once again, that same stagger into the throw. My mans, please. Hmm, nice. Dang. The hit confirmed and into the Fatal Blow puts Black Cloud on a 9-8 lead. And he's already dead and he still makes it to that shields up there. That's a speed force. May get stuck in the middle seat on the entire car ride for Virginia. That's a long drive from Virginia too. Man, Black Cloud, one game away from taking the set. Will Speed Force win this game and make it another tip for Tat? And will they go to the last game? I don't know. He's uh, he's debating it a little bit. Missouri, eight man, eight hours in the middle seat. Still eight hours in the middle seat. That's a long ass time. I would have just flown, fuck, fuck sitting in a car for eight hours. I've been there and done that. I've done it. I've driven to Kentucky a couple times from where I'm at, and it's about an eight, nine hour drive. Yeah, hard pass. So Speed Force <laughs> is uh, really, really thinking about this one because whatever character he picks, he's stuck with for the last two games. Uh, I or mean, let him take his time. I mean, if he needs to take a breather, he's got 20 seconds to kill. Whatever he needs to do. He may like Sub Zero just because he has to deal with the zoning options as much, but his Sub Zero wasn't really getting him any mileage when he used him earlier. Not at all. He was his footsie game with Sub Zero is nowhere close to what he was doing with Johnny. No. Oh. Two, one, he's stuck. Sub Zero. All right. He is committed to Dead of Winter for the rest of this set, so he'll have access to the 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 anti zoning fireball, but his uh, shimmies are not quite as good. We'll see. Opening things up with four two, a great opening button for Scarlet, given how much range it covers. All right, good blocks. 
Nice whip punish. Yeah, he gets in there. He's watching this. Puts the game a bit more. He's not being too forward. Oh, goes straight for the ice ball. Gets it. Just walk up into the EX ice ball. That is a ballsy move. That two one two. Fox, he goes to go for something, but he just gets a neutral jump. Oh, the Ooh, whip punish. Cancel See, that for anyways. That was a waste. Yeah, that was a big, a big, uh, what the hell, but. Alright. Black Hawk opting to close the space. Gets opened up by the overhead into the shoulder. Overhead again. Ooh, uh -oh. he missed to the string. What's this gonna be? Ooh. I don't think, no, nah, I don't think that's gonna kill. He got a shield up there. It's gonna be super close. Oh, the fatal blow wasted. See, that's what I wonder what is what ended the the combo with the the blood projectile and amplified to get some health back. Burning the fatal blow there wasn't gonna kill. All right, goes for the restand into the short hop, the first successful short hop of the set. Nice setup. Man, wow, we're going for a flawless here. Okay. Damn. Black Cloud. We did. It gets a flawless. Flawless round. Literally slapping this man full screen. Just be careful of the projectile, though. He's got to watch out for the amplified ice ball. Good block. That's one. And slaps him out of the second one. Oh, nice neutral jump. I don't know why he amplified the blood ball. He hadn't taken any hits yet. He blocks it and gets the punish. Yo, we're going to have a close to double flawless right now. And then he jumps into the ice ball. Ooh, that's going to suck. Good confirm. I'm going to put this man in the corner. No meter to work with, though, so his options to freeze are very limited. But he gets the throw. Close tying things up health bar wise. Down one. Challenges the plus frames. Into the forward throw. That's surprising. Gets to wake up with the up three. Has a massive amount of range. Yeah, good blocks. Nice down three checks. Oh, I thought that first was gonna be fatal blow. Oh, there's game. Oh no. Oh, we guessed that extra Standing. damage with the down two. Wow, he went Ooh, for this. Gets the chip damage. Chip or was that? Did he try something? I think he actually got hit. The black cloud. <laughs> I thought for sure Spore was going to do a 4-2 Fatal Blow and just risk it all. It would have been game. No, yeah. I mean, he could have for sure. Yeah, he would have stayed alive and brought it back to a 9-9. But Black Cloud and Team Iconic fend off Speed Force. Send this man running to the bench. Speed Force and Gonzo have been eliminated. Nicest and Black Cloud still.